What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today everybody we have like a very different unboxing for you guys well we have like a new unboxing video basically but this is a little different because like I have right here a couple of boxes there are three boxes in total but some boxes are like what do, what what would I call it uh, these boxes were like shipped like a couple of months back and one of them is actually recently shipped so I'm pretty excited about that. So what we have for, for today's unboxing are three United aircraft. One of them is the AT-19 and two are 757s. One of them is what I've been highly waiting for. So yeah, without further ado, like we got three boxes right here. There's like three, I mean, there's two box, two large ones and one small box from a new retailer that I recently bought. So without further ado, Let's get to it. We'll start off with this white box first, and that contains a uh, United 1819. So I'm ready to unbox that one. And yeah, let's get to it. Alrighty, so in this first box, we have my Gemini Jets 1400 scale United Airlines Airbus 1819 as part of the February 2020 release. I know this, like this model is like almost two years old by now, but I did wanted to get this because of like of something. Cause like it's something that had to deal with the QC. So I did bought this off of eBay. Uh, it was like somewhere around in China, I believe. And it's set to come here somewhere around this month, January. But it was a little earlier, which arrived somewhere in like December 2021. So it was pretty much a fast shipping almost. So yeah, you can see like the label here. It says United Days 19. And yeah. Uh, it's fragile, which I like on how they would they added that because like it's fragile, so it does not break. Because you know Gemini Jets QC, there's like a little bit of trouble with Gemini's QC, so I do want to make sure that this aircraft actually stays intact. So without further ado, let's get going with the unboxing. All right, so here we go. Let's just take off this wrapping, like this white plastic right here, without trying to reveal my address. Kind of like easy to remove, but probably would need some scissors for this one. So we can make this a little quick. But yeah, this is shipped internationally from China, and I can see that red, that brown cardboard box right there. Just continue taking these off. All right. So now that's off. Come on, come on. There we go. Now it's just like a, well, plastic box. So nothing much really, but guess what? The kunai knife is back. <laughs> yep, just like what I use in Massive Unboxing 1, it's back. And I can hear like some kind of like grass cutter right there. But yeah, I can hear it from here, from my neighbors. I guess they're probably some trimming some grass. All right, so we got that cut. Oh, actually, no, it's it's somebody in a motorcycle. <laughs> Thought it was like somebody in the grass cutter, but nevertheless, uh, one of my neighbor, one of my neighbors has like a motorcycle for like kids. So that's why a miniature motorcycle, basically. All right. So let's slice through here. I can like, this is kind of like hard to do with a kunai. Should have gotten my exacto knife though, but nevertheless, we are opening it now. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Ooh, we, I may have got some a little bit of dents in the sides. So yeah, we got like the flats unfolded and there she is. My United Airlines Airbus AC19 inside the box. Now let me just like take her out. Perfectly secured, which I like. Now let's just go fling this box away. <laughs> Oh my god, that was like a little hard. And take her out of this plastic. And there she is. Oh, well, box is kind of a little bit dinged up a bit. But nevertheless, I just want to see if that model is intact. So let's get reviewing with the box. And yeah. All right, so here's the Gemini Jets Airbus 1819 in the new livery. Looking pretty right here. This is my first, I think this, wait, this is my second United 
Ace and Nine United. It's my second United aircraft in a new livery. That's what I was gonna say. But yeah, but this is actually my first AC-19 aircraft in my collection. So I'm pretty excited. And let's get reviewing with the box. So you got your Gemini Jets logo right here. This is your generic Gemini Jets box in general. And you got this computer generated printed aircraft right here. You got your United titles and AC-19. Uh, panning over to the sides. Uh, just normal. You got your aircraft right there. And like I said, the box was a little bit dinged up a bit you can see like this like a scratch right there which i gotta say different companies the i know the box isn't even clean but what i'm just here for is seeing if the model is intact and here is the back you can see there's like a little bit of opening right there as well as it gets features this is a 20 this is a 2019 release which is surprising but this came out in the february 2020 release so i think it, it, it was a shipping delay united airlines and the united airlines logo as well as it gets features, you have all your specifications right there and your social social media pages. And yeah, let's see if we can get this model intact to start off this video. And to do something a little different, what I'm gonna do, this is kind of like a change for me, but what I'm gonna do is like open the flap and show you guys the model, and then I'll show you the specifications of the aircraft. So without further ado, let's see this aircraft inside. Whoa, it's kind of like, in in reverse but you can see the model over there yeah well, i don't know why 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 was it like this but it's put in like re like reverse like the aircraft is supposed to be like it's supposed to be in this direction but i don't know why why did it end up, up like that but yeah anyways here are your specifications of the a319 right here and you can pause and read whatever you wish if you like all right, so without further ado, let's get this model unboxed. And hopefully the Gemini Jets QC isn't bad. So there she is. If I can try to take her out, take out the plastic. Okay, so plastic they came a little bit easier, but let's, oh, what? there was like double plastic, which I don't know why there, but take her out. And I do like on how there's like, little bit of what is this like there's extra protection so we can also take that out as well and take her off on the tail please don't come broken please all right well there's like a lot of plastic protection like on how they did add that all right just make sure the wings are intact okay that's good and the horizontal stabilizers as well Perfect start. All right, so we got an intact model in place and I'm really happy about that. Let's just take all these stuff out and let's get started with the review. All right, so here's the United A219. And one thing I do love is that the landing gear does roll. If you want, if I can like try to like show you guys, but this is made out of rubber, but they do roll, which is really amazing. I mean, the nose gear does not roll, but I don't care. Like the main gear does roll, which is a really great pro from Gemini Jets so yeah so let's begin the review let's start off with like the very front right here if I can like just adjust my tripod right here and zoom in on the aircraft well, I can this is how far I can zoom but oh well so anyways you got your cockpit windows and you got your nose which I don't know if like because of the swoop swoop the blue swoop it really kind of looks nice when I look at it I mean it kind of looks let me see it, yeah, it kind of still looks bulky. It still has that weird shape, but nevertheless, uh, it, it is what it is. That's your typical Gemini Jets Airbus A320 family mold. And you have connecting people uniting the world titles right there. I know they are very small for a 1-400 scale aircraft, but yeah, it that's what it says on their new livery. And you got your Star, Star Alliance. Blah. Star Alliance logo right here. You got your L1 boarding door. You got your nose gear and gear door which I don't know what it says right there because I can't hardly see it or I'm not blind in, in general but you got your antennas right there you got your beautiful United titles right there right. the big blue United titles right there and you got your IAE engines right here see and there's your single emergency exit door right here and let's look at some some of the wing detail right there looks nice and you got your fence tip right there 
and I believe like I think the IAE engines are like about the right size for a pizza plane. I believe. Let's ch check on that later. But yeah, you got your Wi-Fi dome right there, your other antenna right there, and you got your L2 boarding door right there. Let me just like adjust it real quick. So yeah, here's your L2 door, and you got your US flag right there, and your aircraft registration. This aircraft is registered November 876 Uniform Alpha, which in fact, I did see this aircraft in Sacramento one day, but it was like during nighttime and it did landed. Like, I don't know where it came from, but, but it did landed. However, I didn't get any shots of this aircraft because it was too dark, but I did see the evil blue tail, which I'll show you guys right, at right now. So yeah, there's your evil blue tail, your APU and your horizontal stabilizers right there. But yeah. I'm, sadly, I didn't got a picture of this aircraft. It would have been nice if I had a great picture of this aircraft. But yeah, I wish I had a good picture. Hopefully when it comes back to Sacramento, then at least I can get a good shot of, of that. And I'm talking about the, this aircraft in general. But what I do want to point out is that like, hang on. Uh, let me just like adjust my tripod. But I think this is a very, very great pro right here. Look at the front. See this? Like, I think this is like ground configurated. Look at that. I think this is kind of like what. Just when I look at it, it seems like it's like in, the wings are in its ground configuration. But looking at the engines, look at that. They're pretty much the same identical size as the regular IAE engine mold, which I'm quite surprised. I do want to get this aircraft because like there's something good about this aircraft, and there are a lot of great things. For example. You got like the rolling landing gear, the perfectly sized IAE engines, which is something what a AC-19 in this with these engines should look like, and the colors are just like really great overall. Good job, Gemini Jets! What an amazing aircraft I have. This is I, I would say this is like my favorite Gemini Jets model right here, just to, just because of, of how the realism is like just the amount of realism for this aircraft that's the reason this is my favorite air aircraft favorite gemini jets aircraft in general just look at the realism of this aircraft like i'm just very proud of it i did watch a video from red river aviation talking about this aircraft and he also liked it so you can go check it check it out on his massive unboxing video i believe it's like massive unboxing number five but yeah he included this aircraft in this, in this video, so yeah, you can go check it out. I'm like a huge fan of his channel, so really glad that I'm watching his videos and talk and doing these like become like this passion, like buying model aircraft to build my model plane collection for my upcoming airport that I'm going to be doing. So overall, very nice model, and let's get some perspective views of this aircraft. Okay, and here we go. So you got like your top view right here, looking nice. And here's of course your side, and here's your back. I believe the horizontal stabilizer is looking straight too. So that's another good pro. And you can also see like the wing flex on the ground, the ground configuration style of the wings look like. See that curve? You can see more better with the curve right there. Which, uh, like I said, it's another great pro. And here's your front, looking pretty nice. And here is your bottom with your little stand hole right there and your Gemini Jets logo right there. Yeah, you can see all of those great detail. And you can also see AC-19 there, it's somewhere over there, but it's camera is kind of like hard to focus. But yeah. So overall, Gemini Jets, this is a very great model and I'm glad I had this in my collection. Like I said, it is my favorite Gemini, Gemini Jets model by far because of the amount of realism this has on this aircraft. So, is it highly collectible? Yes. Is it superior quality? By far, the best superior quality Gemini Jets has to offer. Realistic metal landing gear, definitely. Detailed printed graphics, obviously. And does it have the as real as it gets features? Absolutely yes. So Gemini Jets, great job on this model, and I'm just so happy to have this in my collection. Alright, 
these two models are what I have been anticipating for like a very, very long time. So without further ado, let's get into those. All right, now here we have two boxes of two United 757 200s, which I'm very excited about to unbox in this video today. First off, we have the United 757 200, the new livery from NG Models from the October 2021 release. Well, now January 2022 release since this model was delayed. And down at the bottom is my United 757 200, also by NG Models, but this one's in the Herart here, California livery. Now, I'll go into detail on why I bought this model in the first place, but first, I want to go for like this highly anticipated one. This is a United, this one right here. This is the United Airlines Boeing 757-200 in the new livery as part of the, well, October 2021 release, but now it's the January 2022 release. So, the reason why I bought this aircraft is this. You know, like I'm a huge fan of the United new livery, if you guys don't know, if you're living under a rock in general, but we do want to get this livery because just how nice it looks. And the 757 is really amazing. And when this model was really revealed by NG Models, I did wanted to get this real bad. But however, because I like this shipping crisis in LA, this is similar to the Maryland ones. This was delayed, but this was, wasn't even delayed until 2022, the start of the new year. So really glad I had this, really so excited to have really excited to unbox this and you can see it says there it's a pretty small box this is this is actually my first box of first purchase from a new retailer i bought which is waffle collectibles never purchased them at all but it's kind of like my first time to purchase purchase a model from them so i'm seeing how what waffle collectibles has in stock for me so really interesting so without further ado let's get going with this unboxing i'm really excited and here we go all right let's make sure that i cut it okay just make sure I get the point okay let me start from here try my best to like open okay i'll just use the scissors for this one since the kunai knife is a little hard to like open there's like a little bit of opening right there but i'll start from the top so, all right, let's take that out. Now, I, hopefully I better not reveal that my address. I just cut all of that. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm just so excited to get a model that I've been requesting for like a very long time. And yes, the United 757-200 in, in the new livery is my favorite. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to hit the camera, but it's my favorite livery from the but an October 2021 set along with the Maryland ones. I also like the one in the blue blue nose, but that, that I didn't got that, but it's still good at least. All right, here we go. Open up the flap right there. The other flaps right there. We got some like newspaper right here, which I'm not really interested in to reading newspapers. Oh geez, this is a very tight fit. Uh, come on. I think I may have to like open the box. Like open some parts of the box. Oh geez. Oh, well, I can still see a little bit of that. <laughs> I can still see like the box right there, but I do want to like cut a little bit. Come on. Cut a little bit out of the box so I can easily take out the model but I can literally see it. I, I'm, I'm already excited. Like, I, I better be gentle so it does not come broken or anything. All right, let's take it out and there she is. Wow, look at that box art. Wow, so pretty. Just look at that. All right, let me just like take all those boxes. Let's just wing that. Ooh, that was a little hard. And oh my God, wow. The box design is just so 
amazing. I'm really excited for this. And in fact, that we're also here, let's also unbox this box too, because why not? I'd rather go for like unboxing that and unboxing this too. So right here is the another NG Models United Airlines 757 200. This time it's in the Her Art Gear California livery. Now, the reason why I did bought this buy this model is because California. I live in California. I'm a California A geek. And yeah, I haven't seen this livery, but it is my favorite United Special livery. Man, really excited to see what this model has to offer me. Now, I did bought also did bought this off of eBay, but here's a very this is like a very interesting story. I did bought this model right here, this box right here, containing the model, not just my home, nor when I was in Seattle, but at Seattle Tacoma International Airport while I was waiting for my flight back to Sacramento on a Delta E-175. Yup, <laughs> did bought this model off from the airport which I have never done before and it was a very interesting it was a very interesting move on what I did there. <laughs> like so you're just waiting for your flight for boarding and then you know what? I'd rather just buy a model. <laughs> so I so at least I can get it once I come back here. <laughs> so yeah that's what I did. You can see it's by U, uh, USPS Postal Postal Service shipping and there's the label right there. What is the Sweet United unboxing? And yeah, without further ado, let's get unboxing. Oh, also, this arrived near, this arrived in my house, like nearing December. So it's kind of like somewhere around in November 28 or 29 at most. So yeah, without further ado, let's unbox this. And I'm really excited. I mean, not as like all, like very, very excited. I Like I'm also excited for the United 757-200 new livery as well. But this model right here is probably what, I, what we, uh, this model right here is probably the perfect model for, for my collection. Now, I, I think this is a little too hard to like open. Well, there's like a little bit of opening right there, but we can go through that. All right, let's use scissors and hopefully we can use a kunai knife as we like take out the, like slices all the way from the top. So let me just use my scissors for this one. Hopefully I don't cut myself. All right, now that's one side open. Come on, go for the other side. Now, this, I would say this is like my most expensive purchase because it's like somewhere around nearing 120 bucks. So that is a little expensive. And this model is definitely rare. So I haven't any found found any of this in any retailer, retailers for a small price. And this is the only, only thing that was on eBay. So luckily I did got this. I know I had, I know it was a big purchase, but nevertheless, I'm glad I do, do have it, so just to make sure, hopefully, like I said, I, hopefully I don't hurt myself. Come on. There we go. Now that's a very deep cut. We almost got it. There we go. All right, now let's open the flap. And the other flaps, which I did got a little bit of damage, and you got all these white packing paper. And let's yeet this one first. And yeet some more of that. <laughs> and yeet some, oh, actually, uh, not because the model is in there. All right, Ooh, got some of that falling off. All right, and here she comes. Can't wait to see the nice box design from NG. Oh, there it is, I can see a little bit of peak of that. And there she is. Oh, sheesh, look at this. My God, this is absolutely beautiful. Now, now since there is nothing, there's barely, there's nothing in this box right here, right here. Now let's just like go and yeet this box out of here <laughs> and get all my United 757 boxes and yeah, let's continue on with the review with those 757s and I'm just really happy to do this. Like, I'm just really happy to like, unbox all the 757s that I have. These are my first two 757s in my collection, so really excited. And here they are. 
man, look at those box designs. Like I said, these are uh, bleh, uh, these are my first Boeing 757 200s in my collection, and I'm really glad that they're all united, especially when they're in a new livery at most. Cause like I'm pers I'm personally a big fan of the new livery, like literally. <laughs> But her out here, California, is probably my highly anticipated one. I mean, don't get me wrong, the 757-200 is also nice too. But because, because of me living in California, the her out here, California, is probably more anticipated for me. So, they're all from NG, like I said. And what box should I start with first? <laughs> it's kind of like a tough pick, but... I had to like go for one. Like which one? Hmm. Aha! Let's go start off with the Boeing 757-200 first in the new livery since that one really took a long time for that thing to be available. So yeah, let's get started with the regular new livery first and then we'll transition to the Herartia California next. So let's do that. Okay, so here we have the long-awaited United Airlines Boeing 757-200 in the new livery really excited to get this model i've been waiting for so long ever since october when this was revealed by ng and it took i was isn't that like three months i believe i think three months to get this model into like retailers and i'm just so happy it's here with me Whew, really excited so here we go with the box so here's your Boeing 757-200 titles. You got the computer-generated aircraft right here, United Airlines, and you got the NG Models logo. Really love the box design. Like, look at this. You got like a very amazing, like, this is very amazing. The gradient, the glow, all that. Very beautiful. And here's your, like, here's your sides. You also got United right there, your aircraft right there. And the box is pretty much the same. Nothing much. All you have is just your choking hazards. And you do got like the NG Models logo right here too, so. Yeah. Alright. So. Oh. Oh no. Something's not right. I'm kind of nervous on what what's going on inside the box, but. I can feel something like. Something, something's not right. I don't know what's happening, but we're gonna we're gonna unbox it. Uh, hopefully, I'm a little nervous on what's what's going on, but some I don't know if something's not right or this is like a false statement. Also, you have your so social media pages by NG right here. Okay, I can't unbox it right there, but this is a very stiff box. So. Okay, at least we got that out. As much as how excited I am to see delivery, I'm also worried if one of these parts will become broken. So, I'm a little excited and nervous at the same time, but we are gonna be unboxing it. So here we go. Oh, actually, <laughs> never mind. This, this actually right here, I did talk about this on a massive unboxing too but look at this surprisingly i thought it was going to be like a what a horizontal stabilizer coming off uh an engine uh a wing a landing gear or uh, all that but actually it's this this is ng models coupon code which is the first time i ever had so like this and really excited ng models i did talk about this before but what you can do with this you can actually scratch it off and like reveal this code and you can pin it on pin it on ng models website so you can get some rewards so really glad to have this i'm really yeah i'm really glad to have this and I'm, it's the first time i ever had this so i'm really excited for that but here it is wow my goodness look at her she's so beautiful look at that uh, pretty much a styrofoam insert. It's looking nice indeed. Got your tail right here. And, alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Please don't become broken. 
Uh, I'll be so sad if this thing actually becomes broken. Come on, please. Oh, a little tight fit. But let's see. Let's see if we can like pull it off on the bottom. All right. Uh, first, let me show you the bottom. Yeah, that's the bottom. Come on, come on. All right, all right, all right. So, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Oh, hopefully, hopefully not broken. Please, please, please. It's a, I'm highly anticipated for you, for you not to become broken. Yes. <laughs> all right. Finally, the highly anticipated model for a long time is not broken, which I am super happy about. Anyways, let's get reviewing with this beautiful aircraft. Wow. Look how beautiful this model is. I cannot stop staring at this every day. Just look at it. I'm, I have no words. <laughs> this is flat out amazing. And I'm really happy to have this. So let's get reviewing. Oh, hang on, let me just like zoom in. Okay, this is how far it can zoom. Let's get reviewing on this beautiful model right here. So, you got your cockpit windows right there, your pitot tube and static poison. Obviously love the 7x7 mold from NG. Just flat out amazing. And you have your Star Alliance logo right there. Your connecting people uniting the world titles right there. And your nose landing gear and your nose gear door. And you got your United titles right there, which look pretty nice. And here are your Rolls Royce engines perfectly sized and here's your L1 door and your L2 door and there are your emergency exits right there and let me show you the wing detail because it's pretty nice so yeah here there's your Rolls Royce engines over here and your main gears are over there they're kind of like hard to see because of the shadow but they're there and here are your CMR winglets right here mostly under 757s but Iceland Air also has these and you got, you can see like their antennas right there. And there's your Wi-Fi box over there. And moving to the back, you got your L3 door. And I believe this is the ship number, ship number. And here's your flag right there and your registration. This is November, uh, November 48127, which is the first United 757 and United 757 200 in general. Well, we're phrasing that. This is the first United 7, yeah. Ugh, sorry about that. But this is the first United 757 in United Fleet to be painted in the new livery. And of course you got your evil blue tail right there. Wow. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm glad I had this in my collection. And I'm just really glad. I'm just so happy I had this model after long delays. The land gear does roll smoothly which is a good sign. And here's your, car this is your other side with the cargo doors. Let me just adjust the tripod so you can see the cargo doors a little more. But they're there. Kinda like hard to see, but they are there. And there's your other cargo door on the other side. Yeah, so yeah. Really glad to have this aircraft into my collection, like I said that a couple of times. And, and gee, they're just like amazing. I, like I have no words on how I can like look at this aircraft every day. I could just like literally every day look at this aircraft and just admire how beautiful it is. Now I know like of course, it's new livery. I mean, some of you guys may like the new livery, some of you guys may not, but for me, ever since United revealed it back in April in 2019, the livery is just flat out amazing. I mean, just look at that. Like any aircraft, like 737, 787, 777, 767, 757. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Anyways. Enough talking about me admiring this United's new livery. Let's get some perspective view of this beautiful aircraft. All right, so here we go. So the cinema, the other perspective. So here you have the front, I mean the top, 
which, like I said, I don't know what this black part is, but you got your antennas and Wi-Fi box up there. You got your back right here with the beautiful 757 ground configuration wing flex. And here you have the front right here. And here is the bottom with your rat turbine, which is, like I said, great attention to detail. And some more of these detail right there. You got your bottom antennas right there. Your 757-200 should be in, over there. And there's your stand hole right there. Wow. My goodness. Like, this is a beautiful aircraft. Uh, actually, you know what? Because of, like, just looking at this aircraft in general, I am going to provide you some cinematic views of this stunning aircraft. So, just because, like, just how beautiful it is. Like, wow. I am flabbergasted right now. Anyways, let's get to those cinematic videos. Uh, cinematic views of this stunning aircraft. Let's go. NG Miles, this is flat out amazing. And I am just so happy that I get to have this model after long, long delays of waiting. Similar to my Maryland ones, the wait was worth it. And I'm just really glad. Like, I'm just flabbergasted. I can barely stare at this model every day just because of how good it is. My god, this is like, whoo, sheesh, this is beautiful, I gotta say. So yeah, Edgy Models, fantastic job, and I'm also excited for the United Airlines aircraft in the Continental Globe colors, which is also a very nice asset for me. So, without being said, let's move on to my other United 757 by NG. This time, we're gonna move to the Her Art Here, which I am very highly anticipated of unboxing in today's video. Anyways, let's get to the Her Art Here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be filling in for a voiceover for this next scene because apparently I did record myself reviewing the box. However, I accidentally deleted it from my phone and I can no longer recover it. So this is gonna be my first time doing a voiceover, which I had never done before in a video. So this is kind of like a new step for me. Anyways. Here is the NG Models United 757-200 in the Her Art Here California livery. And as you can see by looking at the front of the box, this is an amazing artwork right here. Look at this. You got like a beautiful gradient fading from like a light blue to a turquoise color. You also got your water right here, your trees, and the bridge. Overall, this is one of NG Models best box designs in my opinion. I do like this box too. Just shows every single thing about California basically. Anyways, you got your Boeing 757 titles right here, Boeing 757-200. There's a light that's blocking the 757, which I don't know why Why I got a picture of this in the first place when there's like light kind of like blocking some of the letters. But nevertheless, let's just review what, it, what I see in this picture. Anyways, you got like the computer generated image of the aircraft right here. And you got the United titles, which are placed in the center of the box, which I would say kind of like to give it off the design of the box in general. Also, there's no NG Models logo anywhere. But like I said, I think it's because of like a, they want to like fit all this stuff in the box. So I think that's what they did here. However, looking from the sides, you got your NG Models logos on the sides too. So 
you you can know that it's still ng model so that's good but nothing too special about the box you just got one side with the aircraft generated over there computer generated in this case and you got the united logo right there with the beautiful gradient and here's the back and there is the ng models logo on the top left on the back anyways nothing too special about it you got all your choking hazards like all your hazards when you're like like this is an adult collectible model age 14 and above and it's kind of like hard to see but you can see their social media pages and of course it's licensed by boeing as of course with every single boeing aircraft it has to be licensed by boeing in general so anyways enough of me talking about the voiceover let's get going with the unboxing so without further delays let's get unboxing to this aircraft right here all right now let me just uh, now that's a that's an easy open and perfectly perfect opening all right let's get the flaps here and whew, hopefully not broken really excited it's another highly anticipated model just like my united 757 in the new livery but here we go take her out of that box and boom there she is wow now i do want to like mention this but the styrofoam insert is a little bit tight which i've seen well i haven't seen any like pictures of their broke of this thing being broken but they do have like the engines that, that come off i think and horizontal stabilizers also come off but you could pretty much see that the styrofoam insert is like a little tight on the engine so Hopefully this one does not come broken. I'll be upset if this thing ever came broken. All right, so there she is. Now if we take it off, let's just like, it, is, it feels like a very tight fit, but I can, uh, we, well, I can do this. There we go. All right, now take her out. Yes, all right. Just to make sure none of these are broken. All right, perfect. Just like my United 757-200 the new livery, the United 757-200 in the Herard here in California is intact, which I do love to see. And I'm very glad another livery, well, another beautiful aircraft also came intact. And I am just so happy with this aircraft. And just looking at the livery itself, this is flat out amazing. Let's get reviewing. Oh, also another thing. So now that it's out of the box, you can pretty much see like the styrofoam insert is a little tight on this side right here. You can pretty much see right here, but this can result in like one of the engines to be loose. So luckily mine didn't came broken, which, I'm, which is a very good sign. And yeah, that's what it looks like in the box. I'll also show you a comparison. Like if I do another comp comparison, comparison with the box of these, of my regular new livery and the Herart Hero one, I will show you guys that in a separate video. But yeah, let's get reviewing on the Herart Hero model. Alright, so here's the United 757 200 the Herart Hero California livery, and it just looks very sharp. Look how like NG Miles does the coloring of this aircraft. Marvelous indeed. And the gear does roll as well, just like my 757 200, or any NG Miles aircraft in general. But yeah, look at this beautiful livery. Beautiful livery. This flying camp canvas is done by, if I can pronounce this name right, but it's designed by San Francisco based artist uh, Sung Wei Mu, if that's how I can pronounce it. But shout out to her for making this beautiful livery and just so beautiful. Like, like I said, this is my favorite. United Airlines special livery, and I'm glad to have this asset to my collection. All right, so let's start off with the review. And yeah, so here you have your nose cone and the pitot tubes and the static ports. And here, and just like in the sunglass, you got like the sunglasses overlaying the cockpit windows, which is really nice because like, you know, California is always sunny. <laughs> and I mean, like, no, it's sunny. I mean, it's mainly sunny, but it gets cold nowadays. And here you have your Star Alliance logo right here, which is like move a little lower because like the sunglass 
and all that. And you have your L1 door right there. You got your United titles and I definitely love like the water right here. Pretty nice asset to like California in general. Like you got like the water representing the beach and all that. And the glasses too since like it's representing the sun as well. Anyways, you got like your L2 door, your bottom and top antennas right here. And here's your engine, Rolls Royce engines as per usual. And here you have your trees right here. This would be like a, I would say this is like a, hmm, it's like a, I would say it's like a minty-ish minty -ish green, I believe. It's like a, I don't know if I can like, if the color is kind of like right on the camera, but you also have your maroon tree. I think this is like a lightish blue. Your bl This one's pretty obviously a blue tree and I believe this is like a turquoise blue tree, I think. But yeah, you have your trees right there and here are your advanced winglets right there or the skimmer winglets. Not split skimmers, but just skimmers in general. And you have your Wi-Fi box right here and you have San Francisco's iconic Golden Gate Bridge. Pretty beautiful, gotta say. Like, Golden Gate Bridge is probably my favorite landmark here in California. So I'm glad the Golden Gate Bridge is painted in this livery to symbolize... It was, the Golden Gate Bridge is basically the symbol, uh, one of the symbols of California. And of course you got your L3 door right there, and your flag right there, and this aircraft registration is November 14106. And here is your United Evo Blue Tail. And here is like a, I don't know if this what this was an addition, but there's also like this blue here. If I could try to focus it, uh, lighting is a little too dark, but it's kind of like hard to see. Let me see if I can like bring it in a better side. All right, this is better. But yeah, you got like your, there's like a extra purple right here, which I don't know what is that. Maybe it has to do with like the hills where the Golden Gate Bridge can be seen, but I don't know. But yeah. And moving on to your other side right here, you also got yeah, pretty much the same. You got your water, your trees, the bridge, but you do have like your cargo doors. If I can, I don't know if they're like hard to see, but the cargo doors are actually in, in the backside. But I think because of this livery, uh, I think it's kind of like hard to see like the cargo. Oh, I can see like a cargo door right there. Just from one of the towers of the Golden Gate. But yeah, overall, pretty amazing job by NG Models. Although, this is like a April 2020, this is like a April 2020 release, which is around a year old by now. But it's still a nice asset to add to my collection. So good job, NG Models. And we'll get some perspective views of this aircraft. All right, so we'll start from the top. Here it is. Uh, like I said, so this black thing, I don't know what it is, but you got your Wi-Fi dome and your antenna and your beacon light right there. And here's your back. Uh, so had that nice ground configuration wing flex of the 7 by 7 mold. Uh, and here, here's the front with the nice sunglasses. <laughs> like, it's looking cool right here. Looks pretty cool when you like get your sunglasses in this front view. Now, I don't know what, I don't know if it's kind of like, actually, never mind. Because like when I look at it in the front, it kind of, I don't know if it's the right engine seems crooked or not, but none of the engines are crooked, which is good. And here is the bottom. And here it is. And there's some kind of, there's like a different, this is a different stand hole, which I don't know, which is pretty different. Like you got your bat turbine, and your main gear and all that detail. But what I'm talking about is the stand hole. Uh, on my new livery 7x7, this, this stand hole right here is a little bit different. It's kind of like, basically the lower part section kind of like ends there. And it has some kind of like, I don't know what that is, but I don't know. I don't know if there's like a custom stand for that or something, but yeah. Overall, NG models, great job on this aircraft. And thanks to that eBay, who is also from California as well. Thanks for providing, thank you for providing me this aircraft and it's another great asset to a very nice collection. All right, now let me get that 757 to show you, to show you like just how amazing these models are. So you have the, I do have my 757 with me. All right, now let me just like move through those. 
there and take her down from there so you can see like a very nice view of this wow <laughs> now this is this is something this is literally something for me as a united man pretty beautiful aircraft and i'm really glad to have two united 757s unboxed in one video obviously with the new livery and the her here california livery it's just something something as a model plane collector so yeah great job ng models on these two aircraft and i'm very glad to be adding them to my airport updates in the near future so yeah let's get all those models and conclude this video and here they are ladies and gentlemen my united a219 and two united 757 surrounding it which is kind of like a very nice style when i look at it <laughs> look at that you have your a219 right i have my a219 right there and two united 757s on the sides so yeah it's pretty nice pretty nice design that I came up like pretty like, it's kind of like a very interesting design that I came up with I mean it's not it's not all that it's not all the best but it's something for this to conclude this, like it's a style that I wanted to do to con conclude this video so yeah you got so yeah basically two NGs one Gemini Jets I actually how I can, oh here let me rephrase that one Gemini Jets two NG models three Uniteds <laughs> that's that's the best way I can like think of think of this so yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and turning on the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. And if you guys want to check out my other United, uh, actually you can, you can check out my, all my other aviation content on my YouTube channel just by clicking on it and you can see a lot of like these amazing aviation content that I provided in a regular basis. So yeah, also if you guys want to check out more of these unboxing videos, you can check out my playlist and go check it out. You can also check on the card over there and that provides all of my model playing content, content for you guys. So without being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Anyways, good night.